Okay, this is an interview with Leland Smith and uh, Ray Matheny, that's myself. <clears throat> and we're here to talk about uh, Leland's war experiences uh, in World War II and his service on the uh, battleship uh, USSS uh, South Dakota. And today is um, April 31st, 2014. March 31st. March 31st. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. So uh, <clears throat> we've got the introduction read, so we have that information. And now you're aboard uh, the uh, battleship, and uh, you've uh, finished the repairs of the bombing uh, of, of the ship uh, before you got there. It was in Bremerton yeah. uh, for repairs. And uh, now you sailed off to Hawaii, and then you got uh, one of the ship's screws tangled up with a wooden torpedo. Yeah. Explain that a little bit. <laughs> there might be one other thing while we were still in Bremerton. Uh, they assigned me, I don't know whether this will be, yeah, they just assigned me yeah. as a, a, a fire watchman when the, well, they was making the repairs when the <coughs> ship got uh, damaged and they come into Bremerton for repairs and they assigned me with this welder and I was to just stay with him all the, t all the time with the fire extinguisher. And, uh, and I lived right uh, on a houseboat that belonged to the Navy. And uh, before we shipped out, after they'd done the repairs, what they, I didn't know where they wanted to. Yeah. There was one little thing there that sure. I remembered. But they did, uh, <laughs> that was kind of uh, something they assigned me. To watch, you know, for fire. That's right. Yeah. While he's making the repairs. Yeah. And then we went out to Pearl Harbor. To like a, a Hawaii. So where Hawaii. did you get tangled up with that torpedo? Uh, and why a wooden <laughs> torpedo? A wooden <laughs> torpedo. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, we went out for some shakedown crews. Yeah. Out of. Uh, Bremer. Out of Bremer. Well, out of Hawaii. After we got to Hawaii. And uh, they was using some wooden torpedoes on these torpedo runs and one thing or another. And one did get tangled up with a, one of those four big, huge uh, screws, you know, on the thing. So we had to uh, bring it into Pearl Harbor and put it in dry dock, hoist it out of the water, and re replace that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So that so that that wooden that's torpedo that, damaged that huge yeah, screw. Yeah, it did. My goodness. So you mentioned it was thirty feet in diameter. Yeah, oh yeah, it was. And you had four of them to Huge drive that ship. Four of them. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So um, now, what what assignment did you get now in Hawaii, and what well, was your your rank and your they assigned service me station? I was assigned to the lookout division mm -hmm. when I first went on, uh, when we got to Hawaii anyway. And uh, the lookout division was, was all, anything to do with, anything to do with the uh, lookout. Uh, you know. So where, where were you stationed for the lookout? We, we was on the ship all the time. Well, I, yeah, I, I never did no, get. But uh, on the ship itself, yeah, on the did ship you have itself. to climb anything? Or? Uh, yeah, I, it was. Uh, uh, lookout defense was uh, 135 feet above the water line. Yeah. Okay. Way up in the. In the uh, was it called the crow's nest bed? Or? Well, yeah. It was uh, on old type ships, it was. 
But that was part of the lookout division was to was assigned to that. Uh-huh, I see. One so. a certain station. But during, in wartime, and when, when we finally went, got in engaged with the Japanese, then uh, everybody on the ship was assigned a uh, general quarters uh, station. Yes. Yeah. No matter what division you was in or whatever. And it had to do with the guns or whatever. And uh, so when they called general quarters, everybody, everybody go to their station. And, uh, and I uh, was a Actually, a loader on the on the on one of the aircraft uh, guns. So you're on an anti-aircraft gun. Yeah. What uh, what kind of guns were these? Well, it was 40 millimeter uh, anti-aircraft guns. They were they the quads? Yeah, they was in the quad. It was let's see, four. I think four in a quad. 40 millimeter and 40 four millimeter. guns. And then later on I was assigned to the 20 millimeter, which is a smaller gun. Yeah. And eventually I was assigned to fire the 16 inch. So I, I fired you were all the guns on the ship. Remember the powder ship. crew down there? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was, I was assigned to uh, anything to do with, with, with guns. So you got you got experience in, in the five inch guns too? No, the, the, anything, everything but the five inch. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, it was the forties and the twenties. And the so how many anti-aircraft uh, guns were there on, on the ship? Oh, well, let's see, I'll, if I can see if I can count them. one right up on the smack on the bow. You can probably see that in that in the picture in there. And then there was two back. Station on the bow. Yeah, yeah I think it was a, probably at least twenty anti-aircraft guns on there. At least twenty stations then. Yeah, on on that particular. And were they all forties? The, those twenty stations, except the one twenty. No, well, it, there was the and the forty millimeter, and they had twenty millimeter scattered all over the ship. And, oh yeah. And sixteens, of course, there was nine of those all. Right. And five inch, we had one, two, three, four, five, eight, seven, eight, eight I think eight five, five inch, inch mounts. Yeah, those are big guns. And there, those are big guns. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, on these uh, forty millimeters, uh, uh, what kind of ballistics do you have on that? Uh, <coughs> Millimeter had a ex, uh, was a firing, uh, fired opposite, you know, like oh, yeah, in okay. this manner. Mm -hmm. And then and the, the shells that they shot exploded uh, in, in the air, you know, in the so it had a time to fuse, yeah. And the 20 millimeter, of course, you just fired that right, right, uh, right exactly at, a, at a, an airplane, right? Yeah. So the 40 millimeter shell then had, had this fuse. So when did the fuse go off? Oh, I don't know. What range? You know, was it about a thousand yards or something? Different, different range, mm -hmm. different ranges. And, uh, Could you set it at different ranges? Then? You know, and then they, Get to set they, the had a, they had a, they had a, an 
anti-aircraft system too. They had three different uh, uh, you could either you could either fire the gun manually or there was a uh, radar that would fire it automatically and uh, the five inch the I don't know whether the 20 millimeter had that set up or not but uh, that's okay that yeah. but they were radar ranged yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every everything on there but but the 20s was uh, so you could fire it yeah. radar so, uh, and everything of, would fire uh, uh, manually too. Even five inch, you could you could come up out of the top of the turret and fire those manually if the the fire control the radar wasn't you know operating. Did Did you st still have the one point one inch machine guns? Mm. You were. They removed the 50 calibers from the Navy uh, for the, from the big boats at one point. They installed these 1.1 inch uh, machine guns, which... I don't think we had any. We didn't have any. Guns. So, Dad, what about that huge gun that you talked about when Don Norton interviewed that would recoil the ship about 50 feet or well, that you fired once? Yeah, if we fired a nine-gun salvo, to uh, one either port or starboard or whatever, the recoil would would kick that thirty five thousand ton ship fifty mm -hmm. feet in the, yeah. in the water. <laughs> Amazing. Isn't it? So that thing, <laughs> I mean, you had quite a recoil. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> what was your your duty with the sixteen inch rifles? <laughs> well, I. The, they fired those things from three stories down, I mean three levels down, mm -hmm. where the control room was. And they had, uh, uh, I mean you'd be sitting with a, with two pistol grip guns in your hand, just like a, uh, a regular handgun. Mm -hmm. And then you, uh, and then you had a, a Or control board, and that was all. And you just watched that. And when you, when you got the, the green lights, you just squeezed the triggers off. You know? So you, that's how they fired them. In so did you fire one at a time or three at a time? No, yeah, you could fire. Uh, well, I think you could fire them one at a time. Yeah, you could. Yeah, uh -huh. but most of the time they would. Uh, Firing like all of them. Uh, so that would be uh, salvos on on uh, islands, beachheads, or yeah. something. Yeah, we had uh, <coughs> in Okinawa the Japanese that dug themselves in the sugar cane so deep that they it was having an awful time getting them out, and the army couldn't uh, was having a time with them too. So what they did was. Uh, they used the 16-inch guns on several ships, and they was incendiary shells, you know. And uh, we fired those several times. I mean, I don't. We fired them clear over a mountain range, and uh, and we fired them into that sugar cane, and, and that literally burnt the Japanese out right out of the. So. It's a 16-inch shell. Yeah, 16-inch shell. And, uh, they used that quite a bit. And uh, so, uh, they, they, uh, they, how much did they weigh? These shells weigh. Mm. I was thinking. Uh, I think there was uh, the salvo. I think was a, was a, close to a ton. The, I mean the. Yeah. And then they had two, two uh, packages of uh, powder that went in behind that, and I think they was. Uh, it seemed like to me they was 
every time they fired it was about three ton of powder yeah. and projectile and so yeah. what's the salvo? Going out of the end of those guns. What's the salvo? Well, salvos and just a name of a part of the shell or well maybe three guns the three gun salvo or nine guns. Multiple salvo. guns. Yeah, that's how it's so don't that, that take your hand away from your mouth. Yeah. So, um, but of course it was there was six six guns forward and three aft. You know, three on. Oh yeah, there's another turret at the aft, yeah. and then uh, you had um, yeah. six guns forward. Yeah. You had two turrets forward, one turret aft. Yeah. Is that right? Wow. Well, what's the kill uh, sight? For a 16 inch shell, with the, you know the, the well, radius of uh, the kill site. Oh gosh, I don't know what. Uh, I know we s fired clear over a, a sh short mountain range, but mm -hmm. it wasn't. A, well, it was just hills more or less. Yeah. But they would fire those clear over the top of those into those sugar cane. Yeah. And another thing, when we uh, Assigned to up in the north end of uh, uh, Japan to go in there and uh, and destroy a steel plant. Oh yeah. With those guns, we did. Right. We did that. Now, I was still in the lookout division at that time. That was on Honshu. Yeah, uh, in Honshu, yeah. And uh, I was up on the lookout division with those ninety power field glasses. You could see those shells going right in, right in the bottom of those uh, big sta smokestack shells. Oh, yeah. Tip them over. And wow. <laughs> wow. You, you just one can't thing, it. <laughs> One thing that happened, there was a, actually a port up there, but the, I don't know where all the, the ships was, but there was one Japanese cruiser that was there, and it uh, got underway and started um, they just sent the uh, Chicago, I remember that was, which was a cruiser, mm -hmm. and they just pulled up the side of them and just, just uh, nine guns into that. And that thing sunk so quick that I can't imagine. <laughs> that was the only thing that we, uh, the only part of the Japanese Navy that I could remember sinking. <laughs> but yeah. we destroyed the. The steel plant, uh, actually, the South Dakota was the only one that really uh, destroyed that steel plant. I, mean, I don't believe we had. That was in 1944. Other, yeah. Mm -hmm. Other sh other some small ones maybe destroyers. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, I, I sort of want to know, Dad. Did you you talked to me a little bit about shooting down pilots? Actually, I mean. You know, yeah, I did. I was um, in you know, on the shooting down aircraft. I Japanese was in aircraft. on one. I remember three three of us had uh, twenty millimeter guns trained right on that. Yeah, that was a plane coming in with a torpedo on them. Oh yes. They was yeah. he was going to take his plane and the torpedo and the whole bit right in the side of that the side of the South Dakota. But we shot that thing down, three of us. I remember we we cut the, the, the we cut, they call it the greenhouse, right off the top of that the airplane. I imagine mm -hmm. the, the guy's head went with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I did get in on that, uh, along with others that I didn't, uh, that was further away, you know, we didn't uh, know exactly where our, Shells was going, you know. But I so where was that? that? What 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 location were you at when? Gosh, I don't no, remember no, sure. just where we was and what part of the. <laughs> That's okay. Well, did they ever fire into the water to knock down airplanes? Yeah, in fact, that one that uh, we shot down after it hit the water, we just kept. Three guns trained right on the thing and just literally blew it to pieces. Yeah. Well, what I meant was, you know, shooting into the water, causing geysers to come up and fl flying into it. 
Uh, I heard from somebody at one time that's what they did with torpedo bombers sometimes. Uh, no, I don't think uh, we uh, did it intentionally. But <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so you were in the control room for firing the big guns. Yes, I did that. Yeah. So you were not a powder monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you did that too, or yeah. Well, I fired the twenty millimeter, twenty millimeter, and loaded on a forty. I was a, a loader. Yeah. Those come. Those shells were in, was in uh, five. Uh, uh, five uh, five round clip yeah clip. Mm -hmm. yeah they're about so long yeah I mean you just pick them up and drop them in top of the the gun and you the the brass would go right out on your feet frankly so fast you wouldn't even notice yeah, <laughs> yeah. they was oh quite a machine that, that gun okay um where was the South Dakota uh, involved in any of the island invasions? Uh, yeah, other than, uh, yeah, we was. Well, well, you were on it anyway. Yeah, we was in, involved in Okinawa, Iwo Jima. So you provided 16 inch uh, gun fire there on both those islands? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't remember what. Uh, there was at least three battleships in that. Was the South Dakota ever struck by a kamikaze? Yeah, twice. Were you on board then? I was on it once. I was a. Uh, it. Uh, that's what happened to it when they was repairing it in the, in the wa up in uh, Bremerton, you know. That it. That happened to it. Uh, that's before I got on the ship. Then once after I got on it, we had one of those uh, kamikazes come go right into the center of the superstructure. But I happened to be on the opposite side of the ship, oh. or I wouldn't have been, <laughs> I wouldn't have been here. Yeah. So yeah, I did. Uh, I was on that during the, the time it got hit. The one time. So, was, how much damage was done by that? Oh, uh, a lot of the damage we would uh, probably been done to those five-inch mount, the uh, five-inch uh, oh, yeah. guns, because mm -hmm. that's where they was mounted was uh, on the side, on, on the side, both sides of there. Did you actually see the pilot that, or, or was he? I did. I mean, I was close enough to see. He was dead. Not the point of his eyes. But yeah. But yeah, he was. Uh, he just flew it right into the ship. Huh? He was coming right along the. Just bare, just off the water line. I mean, he was going to that. If that would have hit with that torpedo, I mean, it would have been then. Terrible damage. Could they? Could the kamikaze pilot? Could a kamikaze pilot sink a ship? It could be hit in the right place again. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have a wooden decks on on the battleship. Yeah. Not all of them. There, there was there a lot of it was wood. A lot of it was steel. So why did they have wooden decks on the? Modern battleship. A good. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I think. <they laughs> uh, so you guys would have something to do. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Swap the deck. The deck. <laughs> so they had to save enough of that. <laughs> Keep that clean. Use a pumice stone, huh? <laughs> yeah. Grind the deck down. Yeah. Either that or paint. We had, uh, yeah, we had uh, 
two uh, spotter planes on that on that ship too, two airplanes. Oh, two kingfishers. Yeah, kingfishers. Yeah, yeah okay. that's what they was. <laughs> and uh, of course, every time they had to get into a battle, the first thing they'd go would be the airplanes. They'd launch those and get them off the ship. Yeah. Of course, mm -hmm. they'd shoot them off with a five-inch shell, yeah. off of a catapult. Oh, I see. They used that, the gun actually, yeah. or, or it had its own, yeah. own launch system, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody asked me the other day, he said, how'd you, how'd you get those planes back in? Well, it was very, it was a very uh, pretty easy thing. What we done was made a big, wide turn, and then those four great big propellers on the back to smooth that water out just smooth as moving into planes and they'd bring those planes in on that uh, yeah, on your, huh? yeah on the what do they call that I would have never thought of that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they <would. laughs> they'd bring them in then when they'd bring them up beside the ship they'd swing the, the crane out crane out and mm -hmm. pick and lift them out yeah. oh that's how they that's did quite it because mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. they didn't have the actual no. aircraft carrier no. Equipment. No. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, uh, when they brought those in, they all, all like go back there and watch, you know. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was quite a thing. You bring those. Uh, uh, Were you in the Battle of Torara? Torah? No. Tora. 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 T a r a w a. I don't. Uh, Maybe that was just before your time. I don't. I don't. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah. Okay. Could have been. So, um, <coughs> what was your chain of command <laughs> for for that your battle station down at the uh, control of those big guns? Well, they, they fire. They have radar information. Or? They would. Uh, they had it. Like I said, quite a big uh, control board, and you pretty well watched that when it was your turn to to do the firing. Yeah. You you just watched that control board and and you knew just what to do. Well, you know that's a very complicated operation because yeah. the ship is never just absolutely level. No, you know it's rolling and it's yeah. pitching. Yeah. And how was all that coordinated to get this big gun to, yeah. and to fire at the right yeah. microsecond <laughs> to get the shell at the right place? You know, yeah. radar. That's more That's than radar, radar, you know. Because <laughs> you got to operate yeah. the gun in elevation, yeah. Yeah, you know, azimuth, and and uh, just get everything to exactly right. That was oh, yeah. some kind of mechanism I never figured well, out. <laughs> That's what did, that... Did they just train you to shoot at the spot on the board then, Dad? Well, yeah, you just... You was uh, trained, yeah, <clears throat> with that uh, to operate, to watch that board, you know, when you was firing the gun. You knew just what to do, like... And you don't know the mechanics they, behind it, then? Well, huh? most of it was, uh, was lined up through a radar system. Radar to give you yeah. range, yeah. and uh, so but, really uh, you know, I always wondered. You know, they've been figuring this out for a very long time since the Battle of Japan mm -hmm. with Russia. You know, in 1905, uh, how to fire a gun on yeah. a ship when it's pitching. And <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 I never figured out how they did uh, this. <laughs> I guess I guess that was all taken care of by automatic. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't, uh, I just uh, suppose the triggers when I'm in, and hang on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so each each gun has a life, <coughs> an operational life, and then it must be yeah. overhauled or yeah. replaced. <coughs> so how do they keep track of that? By the number of rounds fired? Probably. I don't. Uh, I, I do know that they did go in and replace the rifles in those, yeah, in those. I, I, but I don't know how many. Uh, you know the big guns in particular. How yeah. many? You can't fire very many 
one ton projectiles out of that yeah. barrel. Yeah. Tear it. Throwing it off. It last very long. Yeah. But I do remember uh, replacing those. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many times, but yeah. it was quite an operation to do that. Let's see, Doug, can I ask you, what, what was the most frightening experience you ever had? Uh, <laughs> people have asked me that several times, and you know, you're, you're, uh, when you're at, at that gun and busy operating this gun and everything, you don't have time to be scared. I don't remember ever being really, really scared, hey, I see a plane coming in or bombs going off all over here, everywhere. But uh, uh, I don't remember being really scared. Hmm. It might be. <laughs> you were young. Maybe I was, maybe I was a, a tough one or something. But well, I remember I, I'm being sure scared. There was, <laughs> I'm sure there was times I was scared, but I can't remember anything. Nothing comes yeah. to mind, though. And you just had to do your duty. All the time. It's always duty, isn't it? Yeah. And your duty is to your fellow man yeah. on that ship. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, a question, <clears throat> excuse me, I always had. When you fire a 16 inch rifle, why, you know, the backlash is so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just about cinder a man standing on the deck. Did, did they clear the decks for firing oh, big yeah, salvos? There's, yeah, there's nobody on the yeah. nobody on the deck when they whenever whenever they fired those 16 inch, you wasn't none of the other guns was was operating that everybody, I can remember. Everybody took shelter. Because the <laughs> fire, I mean, the fire <laughs> coming out of the end of those. Oh yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> I can't really imagine yeah. nine guns of that caliber. Well, it's but I'm not sure there wasn't uh, any other guns, unless it was the five inch could have been in operation. Let's see. At the same time, you mean? Because yeah, they were enclosed in a in a turret. Yeah, they're the little was small turrets on the yeah. side of the ship, yeah. weren't they? <clears throat> in fact, I was uh, uh, on the ship with the guy from Pleasant Grove. Uh, Calvin Mills, and he was inside of one of those five-inch uh, mounts, and, uh, and we was the guns that I was operating was right by those, and he he uh, <laughs> somebody the loader there's there's on a twenty millimeter there's a guy that uh, watches or stand right by it, and he's called the loader, and he also. Uh, watches where you're firing if you get busy and you might swing around and fire right into the ship, you know. Right. And, and that was his job to make sure that your guns was out firing or something. Right. But he, uh, somebody come down, it wasn't our our gun, but Calvin Mills, he said, you guys tried to shoot, <laughs> shoot us because they fired the 20 millimeter right into that turret. Oh and they goodness. was inside when they were, oh my <laughs> shells, shells was bouncing oh. off of that. Well, <laughs> he always blamed me for doing that. He was trying to kill me. <laughs> but it was kind of funny. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we've often wondered, you know, how many, how many men on the South Dakota? I, uh, I had in mind There was five thousand men on that ship, but I doubt if there was that. that many. I don't think there's that many. Yeah. Okay. I would say maybe. Uh, yeah, the new aircraft some carriers like, some have like about two thousand. Do they? Huh? Yeah. 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 There thousand. would be on an aircraft carrier. Yeah. yeah. But uh, five thousand is, a, is yeah, quite a few men. That's a little high. So I think it was more like. Maybe a little less than three. Mm. Anyway, we had, um, we had fifty marine, <coughs> marines on there. I remember that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> 
What did the Marines do? <coughs> uh, we always we always call them seagoing bellhops. <laughs> <laughs> take care, take care of the of the officers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> officers. Uh, but I think their job was more than that. But that, that's that's all we ever did. Were they there just in case their, you ever had to go ashore? Or? No, they no. No, they were strictly. Yeah, the police. There were so many, there were 50 Marines on that particular battleship. I don't know whether it was any on a destroyer or not, but uh, they was, uh, I know they they followed the officers around all the time, <laughs> but they did have a job. It, wasn't, it was more than that. Yeah. <laughs> they took men to the brig. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, you well, another those. thing they did, we, whenever we, uh, whenever we pulled into, when the war was kind of settling down a little bit, we'd go into port, first thing we'd do is everybody wanted to go swimming, so they'd throw a net over the side and everybody, but the Marines watched for uh, sharks. Oh. Shark <laughs> watches. <laughs> they were setting up, up up on the turrets and around on the, Ship with rifles, you know, watching. For oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one thing that he did. Well, with all those men on board, and there are no lifeboats. <laughs> no. No lifeboats. No, no. lifeboats. They're, they're probably the captain's <laughs> launch or something. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, <laughs> did you have? Um, wow. What's the drill for abandoned ship? <laughs> Man, I don't remember. Well, uh, you know, there was what, a, what would you have done, you know, if we that had got torpedoed uh, and started yeah. to sink? We did have life rafts, mm -hmm. not boats. We had life rafts, and of course we had life jackets and uh, mm -hmm. but enough everywhere. For I mean, it was in, in a certain place you, had, you knew right where they was, in a, in a cave, in a old place where they kept them. But any time you was at a general quarter station, you had a life raft or a life jacket on. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and then that you was know one thing you had. You on. went to a certain place to get a life raft. Yeah, life rafts were <coughs> were uh, in several places. Yeah. So we could have used them. Were there many casualties on your ship? There was uh, 32, as I remember, in that one uh, in the kamikaze plane that hit the ship while I was on it. And I don't know how many uh, casualties before I got on the ship. And then another thing that uh, happened we had some 16-inch ammunition explode, and that killed another somewhere in the in the 30s or something like that. Oh my gosh, 16-inch shells going off inside uh, the <laughs> ship. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the, yeah, they. Have, well, and that ammunition was made right here in the, Utah too. Oh. Well, uh, uh, they have, in fact, same thing happened with the Iowa when in, in, uh, in, uh, Pearl Harbor? No, oh. in World, in the, what's the other, the war in, the uh, In the Atlantic, I think. Yeah, yeah. When the Iowa was on, that was, uh, I wasn't even in the Navy then. But, uh, oh, when Saddam Hussein was, Oh, oh we went to in, uh, Lebanon, and, and uh, that was the Missouri that fired 16-inch shells into Yeah, that was the Iowa that uh, that, <coughs> that uh, ammunition exploded on yeah. that, too. Same thing. Well, yeah, the I, handling room, you know, where it had a little spark or something. Well, I, I read um, that on, yeah, that on your ship, it was a powder, yeah, powder, it was powder that, that blew up. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I was, <coughs> I 
I was up in But that was in dry dock when that happened. Uh, yeah. From Bremerton. Oh, yeah? When, it, when you returned from the... Oh, I didn't... Uh, maybe you weren't that. on the ship then. I was on in the lookout division when that one, when that uh, magazine exploded, when that powder went off, mm -hmm. and I was up high enough in that, in that superstructure come down uh, and, uh, and uh, from the bow and it come down the superstructure here and right here there was a, a door on each side of that ship where uh, access to you know people going in and out and flames come when that when that exploded flames come out both of those doors mm. I do remember seeing oh, that yes. I thought, oh no so 30, 30 <laughs> men got <laughs> 30 men I'm, got killed then, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, late in the war, <clears throat> uh, was, the, was your ship preparing for the invasion of Japan? Oh, I don't... Uh, Especially, I mean, uh, it was still, we were still operating with a full capacity, you yeah. know. Well, you'd already uh, shelled, so you'd already shelled Japan. Yeah. So I suppose you'd be getting ready to do that uh, again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We was in, uh, in Tokyo Bay when they signed the, Yeah. Missouri, I had the big old 90 powered glasses and, I, and we was uh, anchored about a thousand foot uh, off where the Missouri was and I had those 90 powered glasses right on the uh, the pen that he was that Japanese those guys that were signing it and oh, yeah. so I you could got see it that from First, way up first hand view. view. <laughs> yeah, I that's, that's great. I wasn't right there, but I was close enough to see the yeah. <laughs> see the ink. <laughs> anyway, so what about food during the war on on the ship? Food. Did you uh, eat in shifts? <laughs> we had. Uh, we had we had good food, except we had a little power a little problem with uh, what's those bugs that get in the flour? Weevil. Weevils. Weevils. <laughs> yeah. We did have a little problem with that. Everybody when we'd go uh, down to to uh, eat a meal, you know, everybody'd pick up the bread and hold it up to light, you know, <laughs> pick, pick out, out the, the weevil. weevil. Oh, they're all cooked now, so uh, <laughs> they're just trying to eat them. <laughs> One thing that uh, oh, I tell this, when I was waiting for, uh, uh, I, I'll tell some more about the food later, but uh, anyway, when I was uh, waiting to get discharged, they assigned me to the, to the Mount Baker, which was a ammunition ship. And I, I was, I was mess cooking. Everybody gets their turn at that, you know. Mm -hmm. And these guys uh, drink coffee like it was, uh, I mean, <laughs> gallons of that stuff. But you know, after uh, after everybody was through eating, uh, we had uh, we'd get these uh, bundles of rags that just for cleaning purposes. And in these rags <laughs> was a, a, a big, I don't know, a big pair of a lady's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and after they got through the, after we got through e eating and the, through with the coffee things, you know, I thought, oh, I'm going to just have, so I, I just grabbed a pair of those big bloomers, what it was, <laughs> threw them in the coffee thing. Stirred it up, you know. <laughs> and I told those guys after that, hey, how was the coffee tonight? 
Oh, really good. So I stuck his dick down there, pulled up his Maybe he out there. Oh, boy. <laughs> they were perfectly <laughs> clean. But no, no, yeah, they were. <laughs> the idea. Yeah, they <laughs> anyway. But the food was, uh, food was usually pretty good. Whenever we'd get into, into a port, the first thing we'd want to get was, uh, was some fresh milk. Powdered milk wasn't too good. Yeah. But other than that, I can't remember other than So what did you have for breakfast on Wednesday morning? <laughs> <laughs> was it the same thing yeah. every Wednesday? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, we didn't go. What it was is chip beef on toast. Oh, but that S isn't S what the name is. <laughs> Good old SOS. <laughs> yeah, SOS. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, other than that, it was. <laughs> oatmeal? Did they feed you oatmeal then? <laughs> oh, jeez, we must have had oatmeal. <laughs> Were you, you were in Tokyo Harbor when the surrender was signed? Yes, I was. Yeah, he talked yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you remember about that, Dad? Besides, you could see the pen signing? <laughs> no. Did you go on off ship into Japan while you were there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I'd, uh, I'd go on. Uh, me and these other three guys I was in the Navy with, well, I have pictures of I'd, <laughs> I'd go with them so I could get them back to the ship. They, they'd get so drunk they wouldn't know where they was at. <laughs> so I said, I had to bring them back. <laughs> One thing I did. You were the shepherd. Huh? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Dad went back to a reunion of the South Dakota crew yeah, a quite number of years ago. They've got the mast there in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Sioux Falls? Yeah. 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 Oh, Sioux Falls. Yeah, they, they've got the mast and two or three other things. They've got a, an outline of the ship, you know, in, in a park there. Mm -hmm. uh, outline the ship and they had the mast. And they had a, kind of a memorial thing that they made there. Well, they had. We was, uh, uh, we shot down, the, the South Dakota did I not, me. the South Dakota shot down more Japanese planes than any other ship in the Navy. Right? We've got a, there's a picture in that, in that book of their uh, scoreboard. Mm -hmm. And so the Japanese was always after the South Dakota when we get that <laughs> ship out of there. Call it Battleship X. Yeah. So what battles were you in? Were you in any of the famous battles, Dad? Seven of them. You were in the seven Battle major, of Mid Seven major battles, which complete, was a major uh, battle, you know. So the Battle of Midway? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You That's were in the part. second Battle of Midway. Yeah, second, second one, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. First one was 42 yeah. before yeah. he was uh -huh. in. Before he was in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that was a turning war. point for the whole war right mm -hmm. there. And the Second so, Battle of Midway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that pretty well did the Japanese Navy in. Mm -hmm. And it, it destroyed their aircraft carriers. They destroyed yeah. five of them, I think. So, they, you know, that was... I don't they remember. couldn't I know replace all that. One battleship, we, uh, the Nagato, that was their biggest battleship. Yeah. Hmm. We, uh, what is it? We didn't the actually sink the thing. We, they sunk it uh, just to get it to use it for a, a target practice. But I even went on that thing after the, after it was shot all to pieces. They, oh, is that right? Several of us went on it just to look at it, but it wasn't much left of it. But we didn't actually sink it. But we blew it to complete it. Well. It's a good thing that thing didn't get into action because it had 18-inch yeah. guns. Yeah, it did. Well, well, larger than what we yeah, had. Yeah, that's mainly what everybody wanted to get on that thing more to see what, how big they were. 
Yeah. See, 1981. Yeah. So, um, what, what uh, sunk the, the battleship? Yeah. Well, actually, sunk the Japanese battleship. Well, it never we we never did really sink it. Uh, I mean, we we shot it up so bad it was you know, not. Couldn't use it for anything anyway. Yeah. They, I don't know what you'd call it. <laughs> the scrap metal heat. Scrap, yeah. 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 So, Dad, there's a this article that's in in this book that says the Lehigh man on first ship to enter Tokyo Bay. So, the South Dakota was the first one to enter, yeah, huh? It was. Is there anything you remember about that? It was the only. Well, I, like I was telling you, we went in there especially to to get, to, to do away with that steel plant. Uh -huh. I mean, that was one thing we we was assigned to do with 16-inch guns to get rid of that because it was that was one of their one of their steel supplies. That was the Kamaisha uh, steel plant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it so, was a pretty good size one. Dad, tell me about, I mean, how did you feel about the Japanese at the time? Well, <laughs> we had a lot of different names for them, <laughs> for Japanese, but, mm -hmm. but I don't remember being especially hating the Japanese. Uh -huh. I think we hated the Englishman, the English so the sailor worse than the Japanese. Why is that? I, I don't know. They just was uh, <laughs> the Navy had something about a uh, English uh, sailors. Uh, was it a competitive kind of thing? Well, yeah. Or they felt thought they were better, or I don't know what it was, but anyway, they <laughs> they wouldn't have nothing to do with it. When we go into to liberty at the same time as same time another English ship was in the in the harbor and that they wouldn't have nothing to do with them. Huh? I can't remember what why that was. Uh -huh. But anyway, like I said they hated the English was worse than the Japanese. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> well well, I don't know. Like I say, seventy years. I don't know. We yeah. probably missed a lot of it. But so, uh, what, what do you think about the the war, the, the whole whole business of yeah. of uh, World War Two and subsequent wars? That was, yeah, <laughs> I think that was a, a, a worst thing that Japan ever did. I mean, of course we. They caught us off guard, I know that, but uh, boy, nobody, nobody liked what was going on, you know. So did you always feel like you were doing the thing that was right, Dad? Yeah. Or, yeah? Definitely. You never felt like it was something you shouldn't no. be doing, huh? That's a just war. Yeah. I yeah. think everybody felt bad. Yeah. <coughs> when, when did you come home? Yeah, tell us about that. We went. I see. I went in in April of '44, back in June of '46. '46, huh? So you were only two years, huh? A little over two years. Did you ever think about staying in the Navy? No. No. <laughs> Why is that? I'm like the Navy. No, not didn't like no, it that I much. It. I wanted out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd served my, I'd served my time, and I just wanted out. <laughs> but no, I never did want to stay in the navy. Mm -hmm. Well, you served your time. I, and I, you... I, I turned down, a, I turned down a third class gunner's mate rate. Uh, it was I had, uh, I had that coming automatically. And uh, and I turned it down because I heard that they was they f 
froze all uh, gunners' mate rates in the Navy, and it was uh, not discharging anybody in the, with a gunners' mate rate. So I, I got <laughs> wind of that and turned that down. So that meant you would have to stay in longer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, like I say, I don't want to get out, I'm sure. So tell, tell me about the, they wouldn't let you out until you went and got your blood pressure treated. It's uh -huh. for our sake of our family. Well, blood pressure was high and they didn't, uh, yeah, they held up my discharge on, on that account. But uh, I don't know what run that up. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, they uh, they wouldn't discharge me until they got that under control, you know. They wasn't going to turn anybody out. Was mom waiting for you? You, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the other thing. My reason I didn't want to stay in the Navy, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Did mom ever come to see you when you were on she one of your leaves? Yeah, and she, she, she came down to uh, San Diego. Mhm. Mm yeah. And that was how long before you were discharged? Well. I'm trying to think how long I served on the Mount Baker. That that was in uh, Port. You know, we came into another thing. It was funny. We came into San Francisco when the war was over, under the Golden Gate Bridge, and then they uh, we went down through the Panama Canal up to to uh, Philadelphia, and they discharged me right then, and I come clear across the United States on a train. <laughs> but you could have gotten off in train. San Francisco. <laughs> I could have stayed there. Yeah, that's the way the, that's the, way the Navy done things. <laughs> that was kind of funny. They all did it. All the services did those. And the first thing I did when we got in Wyoming, I found the found a steakhouse and got the biggest steak I could, <laughs> could eat. Well, that was a good place to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was probably fresh, huh? <laughs> we went down through the Panama Canal. That was quite a thing when the, uh, actually you just go, uh, there's a certain place out over there, been to Panama or not. There's a certain uh, section where it's just a river and you know, all the ships go up this river, you know. I mean, you could throw a rock from off the ship over the... the and uh, that was quite a thing. You see that battleship going up this little, little river in mm -hmm. Panama? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That was quite a thing. Now, I'd oh, like we are done, aren't we? Yeah. We're done. It says, yeah.